Certainly, in the time it takes to finish this sentence, 53 more prescriptions for opiates were just filled in the United States. The extensive use and abuse of prescription opiates has been called an epidemic in this country. And while the problem in adults has received a lot of news coverage, there's been very little coverage about the effects on children. But as Clark Powell shows in this week's OIO Community segment, a new study is shedding light on the issue. Pharmacies fill more than 650,000 prescriptions for opioids each day in this country. Central Island Poison Center. And increasingly, calls are coming into poison control hotlines because of them. In this study, we found that poison control centers in the United States receive a call every 45 minutes for a child that's been exposed to opioid medications. That study was conducted by researchers at the Center for Injury Research and Policy and the Central Ohio Poison Center at Nationwide Children's Hospital. It analyzed calls to U.S. poison control centers between 2000 and 2015 and found a sharp increase related to opioids initially, but a drop since 2009, with one notable exception. We saw a pretty significant increase among young children getting into medications that are used to treat opiate dependence. Buprenorphine in particular uh, had a significant increase in exposures to young children. Drugs like buprenorphine or suboxone are especially dangerous. They are primarily used to help people addicted to heroin or other opioids, but they can be dangerous if they get into the hands of children. When children get exposed to buprenorphine, um, if mom or dad sees it happening and they take the pill out of the child's mouth, that child can still go into a coma and stop breathing many hours later. Experts are calling for increased prevention efforts to better protect children, including changes in how these pills are packaged. Instead of loose pills and bottles, they suggest increased use of blister packs or single dose packaging like this. Keep these things up, away, and out of sight, preferably in a locked location so they can't get access to them. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.